Hello friends, James Stevenson here with a video addressing claims that Tesla Autopilot is unsafe. It's so unsafe that it's more unsafe than the average vehicle on the roads today. Uh, I'll dive into that uh, dubious claim uh, during this video. I'm joined as always by my co-host Loki, who is sitting in bed, uh, not eating his breakfast yet. Maybe he will during this video, if he does. You'll be able to catch the action in the Loki cam as I share my desktop. So Loki will stay down here below me in this view with my uh, desktop uh, over here, obviously. And I'm showing you the topic for today's video, which is this chart I tweeted out yesterday, which I captioned, Tesla's vehicle safety report visualizations show miles between accidents, but the numbers are so large they're hard to relate to. Here's my proposed alternative, see note, of the periods being reported, how likely was an accident to occur? I'd rather be in a Tesla. So what did I do? I just turned the numbers on their head and um, in, instead of thinking about it the same way Tesla's vehicle safety report does, maybe I should bring that up. Uh, let's see if I can find that very quickly for this video. Yes, I found it. That's how fast I am. Okay, so let me drag this over here. I'll just show you. Squeeze this down here some. And then maybe, maybe I should zoom in here. Yes, that's a winning strategy. Okay, so we got a Tesla vehicle safety report here. This is at tesla.com slash vehicle safety report all one word if you want to go check it out yourself i'm not going to read this whole thing to you because that would make this video too long uh, but i do want to show you the uh, miles driven per one accident uh, is how they're uh, showing it with a dark blue being vehicles using autopilot technology those are tesla vehicles uh, then the lighter blue is tesla vehicles not using autopilot technology so if the autopilot is turned off in your tesla that's the lighter blue color and they've got the u.s average in gray i kind of did the color scheme differently but this is the way the chart appears let me zoom out some now well, that's a long way to zoom out those are my only options okay uh so what they're showing here is million miles driven before an accident occurs. That's kind of hard to wrap your mind around and get comfortable with. So what I did was I translated these reported figures and you can see uh, I had to uncollapse them at the bottom uh, to get to the numbers instead of guessing at what the number is by eyeballing the chart. Um, so they're only reporting back to Partway through 2018, I wanted to use full year data, uh, so I didn't include the 2018 numbers. I just put in full year 2019, 2021, and 22. You can see they haven't reported any of the 2023 quarters yet. They may wait and just do one update of this data per year. Uh, not sure. So I'll get rid of this, and I'll just show you this uh, chart here that I tweeted out. Uh, and I'll scroll up and let you know that Elon Musk liked this tweet. So if you, uh, if you like this chart, then you're in good company with Elon Musk, who also liked this chart. Um, and then I will minimize Twitter and show you where it comes from. So here is the live chart. You can see I'm clicking on it here. This is uh, where I made it in my Excel spreadsheet. Uh, and... I made it from the data that I have on this accident rate tab here. So maybe I have to zoom in here or else you won't be able to read this. Uh, and we'll just make a very quick tour here. So I punched in the numbers that Tesla reported here for miles between accidents. And then I made the assumption that people drive 12,000 miles per year, right? Uh, so for the Teslas using autopilot, I'm dividing the miles between accidents by the 3,000 miles that you would drive in an average quarter if you're driving 12,000 miles per year. Uh, and that gives me 960 quarters between accidents. All right, so we've translated miles between accidents to quarters between accidents. Then here, I'm translating this to accidents per thousand buyers. This is probably an unnecessary step in the calculation, but it's here. So if you wanted to know, hey, 
uh, if a thousand people buy a Tesla, how many of them will have an accident in their first quarter? Only one of the 1,000 people will have an accident uh, in the first quarter they own their Tesla. Uh, and then these are all showing individual quarter numbers here. So I haven't done anything cumulative yet. Some people were confused by the nature of the chart being cumulative. I think it's important uh, to let people understand their risk over a four-year period of time is greater than their risk over a one-year period of time, right? So it does accumulate. The longer you own and drive your vehicle, the higher your risk is of being in an accident because each additional year driven is additional chances to get into a car accident. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so then for Tesla's not using autopilot, uh, 2.4 people out of every thousand would be in an accident. And the average US vehicle, six, a little over six out of every thousand people would get into an accident in the first quarter of ownership. Okay, so quarterly is kind of not the way people are wired to think. So I wanted to add these up into yearly totals. So if you take the, four, the first four quarters of owning and driving your car and you add those up, then four people out of every thousand who are driving a Tesla on an autopilot are going to be in a traffic accident within the first year that they drive that vehicle, compared to nine traffic accidents uh, for people driving a Tesla without using autopilot, or 25 uh, collisions for the average US vehicle. And then I'm, because this is cumulative, uh, I'm adding these up as I go. So you add that plus this, you add that plus this. Um, so the average US vehicle got a little bit safer from 2019 to 2020, which is why this doesn't double to 50. It only increases by 22 uh, to 47. Uh, and then it increases by 28? No, 18 the following year? Yes, 18. 20 would be 67, so a little less than that. And then uh, 18 more the year after that. So really, 2019 was a bad time to be driving the average US vehicle. You had a really high likelihood of being in an accident. But the point here is that every year that you're driving the average US vehicle, you're, you're adding more risk than you would be if you were driving a Tesla even without autopilot, but the safest thing to do is to put the autopilot on. Okay, so uh, then I converted these number of accidents per thousand vehicles to the cumulative percentage of having a traffic accident occur. So it's just taking that number and dividing it by a thousand, <laughs> doing exactly the reverse of what I did here uh, with the accidents per thousand buyers. All right, uh, so that's how you get to your percentage likelihood. Uh, if six people out of every thousand are getting into an accident within the first two years, then that's a 0.6% chance of being in an accident in your Tesla using autopilot over the first two years. So that's where these numbers come from uh, for this chart. This is a 3D uh, bar chart uh, format in Excel. I don't use this one very often because it gets too busy if you have uh, the kind of information that doesn't fit this presentation style very well. This chart is really only suited for doing this kind of thing, where you have a short series in the front, a medium series in the middle, and a tall series in the back, which is why I thought of it for presenting this information. But the, the key comparison here is, okay, if you're going to drive a vehicle from 2019 through 2022, over that four-year period of time, how likely were you to be in an accident? Well, you had about a 1% chance of being in an accident driving a Tesla using autopilot, about a 3% chance uh, using a Tesla that isn't on autopilot. So the average for Teslas in total is going to be between these two numbers, somewhere between 1.1 and 3.4, so maybe 2 or 2.5% two chance overall if you're in a Tesla, versus the 8% chance that you're going to be in a, a car accident driving the average US vehicle. Now what's scary about this number is that this is only the average, so that means half the vehicles on the road have a higher likelihood 
uh, than 8.3% of being in a traffic accident over a four-year period, right? And usually the, the older the vehicle, the, the higher the chance that it's going to be in a, in a collision uh, because more and more active safety features get added to newer vehicles every year. All right, what else did I say on here? I credited my source, and I noted that I'm assuming 12,000 miles driven per vehicle per year on average, and I threw my watermark down here in the bottom right corner. So when people appropriate this graphic later on, at least I'll still be getting credit for having made it. And uh, there you go. Uh, I would rather be in a Tesla, as I said in my tweet, uh, and I would rather have autopilot or FSD on. Now, Tesla doesn't release the FSD figures separately uh, at this source location. If they had, I would definitely have charted it on here. Uh, I imagine you're even safer in a vehicle using FSD than you are in a vehicle just using autopilot. But because the data wasn't released, we have to imagine. And that's my video for today. So with that, I will check back in with Loki, who is still uh, not eating his breakfast yet. And I'll outro and say, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, why not? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel over here and click the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post fresh content. Thank you to everyone who supports me, whether you do that through Patreon or on Twitter, or by joining my YouTube channel as my executive producers Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com did at the highest support tier. And I'll see you in the next one.